Prime Minister, there's uh, no question that there's some people who just quite simply uh, aren't in your corner uh, and want to see some change. And that's fair, right? That's democracy. That's their right. But what I think is different here is there seems to be a segment of people who have taken it to a, to a whole new level. Um, it's now pretty common that we see bumper stickers uh, and flags that say F Trudeau. I don't ever remember seeing an F. Harper flag or an F. Chrétien flag. This to me isn't politics. Uh, this is personal. Um, you, you, you must have seen them. It has to bother you. Um, my first thought, and, and you pointed out well, um, what has happened over the past years that has brought people to that place of that much anger? Canadian politics and Canadians in general uh, used to be a little more civil around disagreements like that. Mm -hmm. One of the things we've seen with the phenomenon of, of amplification of extremist right-wing voices, of uh, misinformation, disinformation online, is no, there's always been those people who have you know, really aggressive negative views. What we've seen is the amplification of that, the taking up space of more and more of that, the organizing, so you get three people with flags uh, outside any little community event I do, that makes it much more visible. But I don't think Canadians have actually changed for the most part. I mean, yes, people people tend to give folks the benefit of the doubt. If someone's out there in the rain waving an F. Trudeau flag, um, People are going to say, boy, the Prime Minister must have done really something terrible to upset that person because we're good people. We sort of say, okay, you know, there must be a reason for you yeah. to do that. It seems un-Canadian. It seems un-Canadian to, 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 to not give people the benefit of the doubt. The problem is right now that there's a silent majority that is a little bit silent and maybe wondering whether it's actually a minority. And you got a lot of good, thoughtful people are saying, you know, I don't have anything personal against the leader, but everyone seems to hate him because I see all these flags, and therefore, you know, he, he, he must be on his way out or he must be unpopular. And it's sort of a self-feeding, particularly in both the media cycles and specifically the social media cycles that we're in, um, that amplifies itself. And what I am continually reminded of when I have real conversations with people, whether it's in a, uh, a lunchroom at a plant or whether it's mainstreaming down a small, uh, small town or, or sitting in a, in a university classroom in the middle of a big city, um, is people are thoughtful, people are interested, and people are open to you know, having real discussions about the challenges we're facing. I know you're a dad. Um, what about when your kids see it? Do you talk to them about it? When you see an F. Trudeau flag, um, people don't think about it, but I do. That's my daughter's last name on that flag. That's the last name that my two sons will carry throughout their lives. Um, it's hard for me to think about you know, how to you know, make them understand that it's all part of the sacrifice and service that we're choosing to do, that, that the good things we're doing that is making this world a better place, even if it means I'm skipping their basketball games or not there at the dance recitals or, or whatever, um, that, that it does matter. And that, yes, there are a few people who are very angry out there, but they don't represent everyone. The, most Canadians are decent and thoughtful and just trying to make, make their way through in this, in this country the best way we can. And that the things that, that we are actually doing as a government, the things that I'm focused on, on delivering for Canadians to help with affordability, to grow a strong economy to the future, um, really, really do matter more than a bumper sticker or a cheap slogan shouted out on the floor of the House of Commons.